Hi everyone, it's Lori and welcome to my channel. I hope you're all doing well today. So it is time for our hashtag Thrifty Thursday. Uh, and it is an open collaboration hosted by Sherry over at Turquoise Dreaming. And if you would like to participate, you can just hop in and out whenever you want. Just run over and let her know that you are going to participate. And she will leave your link. Uh, I think she has like a link to everybody's stuff is <laughs> yeah if that makes sense so i did decide to go to the peace place this morning and there was another little shop like a thrift store and i thought it was a consignment and around here consignments are pretty ridiculous to be honest with you but thrift stores are good um so i had went this morning to the peace place and then stopped at this other uh, little place that I thought was a consignment shop but actually it is a thrift store nice little boutique nice little shop um, everything was just clean and just well organized easy to maneuver through it was like a it was it's pretty much like one of the older homes in uh, Jefferson where I live and you know you kind of go up these little stairs so you could go upstairs and there's just you know something in all these rooms so I stopped by there and I've pretty much got all this stuff mixed up at this point, so I'll just show you and tell you what I got where. So, I got this milk glass bowl right here, guys, and it is absolutely beautiful. So, there are like, you know, no chips, no nothing at all, and it has the flower here on the bottom, and it has these beautiful leaves. Now, guys... I had been looking the last couple of days because like things like this you just don't find around here uh, not the milk glass I'm not sure why it's just seems to be kind of rare um, but yeah so it was marked for $14 it has a slash on it this was on a table outside and it was 50% off so I gave $7 for it anyway the last couple of days I have been looking at this exact same bowl on eBay from a guy who's selling it on eBay and he wanted like three times as much of the original price and I paid seven dollars so got a really good deal of course I um, yanked that up really really fast so we got that and then I got this little tin I'm not sure why I just thought it was really cute it's a vintage tin or maybe it's not vintage but made to look vintage to be honest with you but it was pretty cheap and I thought it was pretty cute look at that cream of tartar it says um so yeah so pick that up so yeah pretty much for decorations um that was also at the um um the one i had never been in before thrift store if it's from peace place i'll tell you if it's from that little shop i will tell you um thrift store um peace place i got this little dolly here i think she charged me like a quarter for it i don't think it's too bad anyway um, and then I got some trims. Um, so this one right here is like the Disney princesses. So I got that. And then just some of this baby pink right here. Oh, this was a dollar. This was 75 cents. So I thought that would be really cute. And then I did snag some little golden books. Because I really do want to start making some. So we got... Uh, Nemo. I don't think these are very old at all. That's 2003. And then we got uh, Baby Deer. This one may be a bit older. Let's see. 1962. So that would be a cute journal. And then the Bubble Guppies. 2012. Again, not very old. And I think I already have a couple of copies of this. But um, the Pokey Little Puppy I can't resist. This one's actually 1970, so that's, what, 52 years old. And then Team Umazuma. Zerion likes these. I may make him a journal. He keeps asking me when I'm going to make him a journal, and he's 7. Um, 2012. So, yeah, one of those may be probably this one. Yeah, Team Umazumi, Nickelodeon. He likes that. So, I got those, and these were... Um, 50 cents well they're normally 50 cents each books are half off so a quarter a piece is what i paid for these little golden books so yep pretty good deal there and then look at this guys let me get this off of there at least they had sense enough to use to kind of take that won't make too big of a mess so i wasn't sure what this was at first guys i actually thought it was stationary because i can't read because it says block puzzles but 
look at how darling this is. No idea who it's from. Well, Moorhead Ink is what it says. Look at that image. How cute is that? And it is actually that, guys. It is a block puzzle. Let's try to get that tape off the box. Alright, so sure what all this is look at how cute those are look guys it is seriously you know I didn't even check to make sure that none of them were missing it's a block puzzle so look what we have here isn't that just cute oh, I couldn't resist guys okay so let's see I don't know which one's on here one with the rabbit. Oh, that's that little flower there. There's our little rabbit. Yes, we are going to sit here and put a puzzle together. It shouldn't take too long. But that's going to go on there. Right there. Isn't it so cute? This is going to go up here somewhere. Maybe not. It's like that butterfly's not going the right way maybe it goes there and then we have that and now his head doesn't match okay let's see let's see what we got we're gonna figure this out this is gonna go over in here somewhere and then we have that oh okay so it's actually you know, not going to fit in the box that way. Maybe it'll fit in the box this way. There we go. We are getting it now. That one's going to go there. That goes there. Okay. Where's it at? Oh. Hurry, it doesn't go that way. Hey, no, you know, I ne never said I knew how to. There we go. Put puzzles together. All right, well, that didn't hurt too bad. <laughs> Look how cute that puzzle is. <laughs> oh, Lord, help me. I just can't get over this, guys. It, maybe these are all the ones that, yeah, that are in there that you can make. So cute. Uh, hard to believe it's all intact, but yes, I just had to have it, guys. I'll set that up for decoration. I think that'll be really pretty. Okay, and that was at the Peace Place for two bucks. All right, so let me get this big thing out of the way. So also at the Peace Place, I got this, and it's really, really long. It is iron, some kind of metal. It's just one of the things you hang up. You can set a picture there or pretty much whatever you want. Um, so this I just got. Again, it is pretty long. Um, for three dollars so that is actually going to go in my sewing room I'm just going ahead and trying to get um, just a few different things up and together um, for when I'm able to get that room cleaned out and do some more okay so at the thrift store the new shop I went into I also found this little dress it's a little girl's dress size uh, Oh, I forgot what size it says it was. Like 4T or something. And she took the bottom off of it. But it was half price as well. And it was $10. So I did pay $5 for it. But look at that. And this feels like it has like a meshy tool stuff over it. And I love this color. And look at that. I mean this is like teal and pink. And then look at this applique down here. So yeah. I thought that would be really pretty. And then of course you have... All this other material and trim and stuff up in here that you can use so not too bad for five bucks I didn't think it's a cute little dress guys there's not a stain on it anywhere it's like what little girl wore that mine were always getting stained up and also there I bought these because I wanted to sit down and study them and see how they were made so here's a shabby chic flower so it's like a gold color a lighter gold color sequin in the middle hot mess of glue on the back so i don't know what it was glued to um but yeah i should be able to yep peel that right off 
Um, so I will probably make something with this to be a decoration, but that's really pretty. Isn't that pretty? So I got that, especially with fall coming up. That's what I was thinking. And then this one has a clip on it. Again, hot mess with that glue. Um, but again, I should be able to hopefully get that off. But I thought that was super pretty. Because that doesn't open because they glued it on. I guess they had it glued on top of something. And then that one as well. Um, so for all three of these, I did give $4. May have been a little bit much, but... Like I said, I wanted to pick that apart and figure out how to uh, do it. Okay, guys, here we go. Uh, maybe I should just do it this way and pull out a little bit at a time. <coughs> this big old box of stuff here, $12. Hold on just a second, guys. All right, guys, sorry about that. Yep, allergies are giving me one heck of a run for my money today. Okay, so a big old bag of stuff. So we'll just take out a few things at a time. And I'm stacking stuff up over here on top of other stuff that I've got as well. Um, so these feel like... I don't know what kind of flowers. It's like a material. is uh, Not flowers, butterflies. It feels like a material. But yeah, we got a whole bag of those guys. Lots of pink ones in there. We do have some yellow and some red. Um... But yeah, a whole little baggie of those. So we got those. Oh, we got a a lavender looking little blingy charm that fell out. We'll put it in the bowl over there. Alright, looks like we have a rosette here that could probably use some help. A little piece of tool there. We can use that. Alright, so we got this piece of like crocheted type trim here. I guess I could just throw it back in the bag, couldn't I? Until I could get it all straightened out and organized. And then we have this. Looks like we have a good bit of that. That's like a gold color. Alright. Now what? Alright, now we have some of this pom-pom stuff. Some of that. <coughs> Sorry, guys. And then we have this here. They look really pretty on a boho. Alright, then we have this here. It looks like eyelash and little bead dangle things. So we have some of that. And then we have, it looks to be a healthy piece. Of whatever this is, it just keeps coming. Okay. Alright, we finally got it. So this right here, real pretty greens and pinks. So we got a whole big old wad of that. Big old wad, it's a new technical term. And then this is fun right here, so we have some of that. That would be cute in like a children's journal, like one of the, um, oh, okay, I guess that was wrapped around that. One of the, um, what word am I looking for, guys? Little golden books. That would probably be cute. Okay, so we have that. And then we have, okay, so that's what that little charmy thing came off of so we have that sorry I'm trying to keep an eye on Bella she keeps coming in and out she likes to grab stuff and run a little pom pom have no idea what this is what is this Zucker Feather Products um six feet 72 inches of this silly stuff yeah who knows okay Bella no me Bella yeah I gotta pause y'all. She, she just grabbed a hunk of lace and took off running. Hold on, guys. I tell you guys, that puppy wants to be, be a crafter so bad. <laughs> so, I've been rolling up some of these on the um, wooden clothespins. Some of my laces and stuff. I have them in a basket. I have the basket sitting on the floor. <laughs> you are a bad girl. You bad girl. Come here. Come on. That's a good girl. Come on. 
No, you don't want to come here. She doesn't like for you to pick her up, really. I'm not sure why. She's not a lovey-dovey doggy. She is a wild doggy. And she's not going to get up there either. Hey, Mama. Are you scared? Are you scared of cat? Are you scared of cat? I bet you want that, don't you? No, ma'am. No, ma'am. That's a good girl. Is her a good girl? Hers is a good girl. Yes, sir, he is. Okay, come on. I'll let you down. She's scared out of her mind. She has no problem grabbing lace and taking off with it. Okay, back on track. No, ma'am. No, mama. I'll play with you whenever I get done. Okay, so we have a little bitty strip of... Ooh, those little things flying around everywhere. Little pink rosettes here. I'm going to leave those out. <laughs> Sorry. And then these are just like the butterfly... No, they're not. These are more fabric-y. They're like little ducks. Or chickens. Chickens. No, that's a duck. Look how cute. Yeah, they feel puffy. Yeah, I've got little ducks. There's some little duckies. This will be good for Easter next year. Okay, so we got those. And then we have this. It actually feels like it has a beaded fringe. It's from It's So Me. I've never heard of that. But, okay. Yeah, so that's got some little bead trim on it. If you guys can see that. Kind of iridescent, see-through. Ever how it is you say that. So we got that. And then we got... Some of this right here. I think I've had this before in the same color. I gave it to Jocelyn to go in her uh, little. Her and Stephanie both both have a little. Um, what's the word I'm looking for? No, ma'am, Bella. Um, crafting little box. They have. Okay. Okay. There's another full pack of that. So we got another pack of that. Twelve dollars for the whole bag, guys. Not bad at all. Then we have a small piece of this. Now that's kind of cute. Just a really small piece. So let's go ahead and put the bag in the bag. And then we have this big old bag, guys, of nothing but bows. And you guys know how I don't know how to make bows. They're like a fuchsia color. I like the light baby pink better. See the difference? But we will certainly use these for sure. Bella, I don't trust you. Guys, I really don't trust her at all. Alright, so we get that back down in there. And then, I'm leaving this out too, guys. These little rosettes here. Aren't they so cute? It looks like a set of three. Oh, yeah, those are really cute. It's a little set of three. Look at how teeny tiny. So those will definitely be super, super fun. I don't have anything like that. Not that dainty. I did run across some of these bigger ones. Like these. But not no little dainty ones like that. Okay. So. That was all I got from there. The rest of this stuff came from the Peace Place. So I ended up for... May have been a little much, but two dollars and fifty cents got this shirt. Look at that! Wouldn't that be pretty? Cover something up. The whole thing is that way. So yeah, for two dollars and fifty cents, I got that. So that will definitely be cut up and used in projects. This one here also. Uh, two, did I say two seventy-five? I don't know. Two dollars and fifty cents each is what these were, and then I got this one has all this pretty lace and stuff on it so I got that one that was actually the first time I've actually looked for shirts and dresses like regular everyday dresses and stuff like that I did pick up some more pillowcases at the end of that one so that's gonna look good that's the only place it has anything but these will look good to do um, you know, like the shabby, shabby chic journal that we're working on now to do those. So we got that one. And then this one also has this design on it. It looks like hearts to me. So it has that design on it. 
And I think, guys, how much were these? Oh. I don't even remember how much these were, guys. I'm so sorry. I certainly do not. They were cheap, though. Because if they weren't, I wouldn't have bought them. And this is more of a cream color. It has this at the bottom. So very pretty on that one. So we have that one as well we can make a cover with. And, okay, so I got two of those. Exactly the same. So we got those. And then, guys, I got this one. This is like a sham. This is Field Crest Luxury. Uh, yeah. But I thought this was very, very pretty fabric. It feels kind of quilty. I don't know. And it has a bit of a kind of like a shimmer to it. I don't know if you can tell that with my lighting that sucks. Um, but yeah, I thought that would make a really pretty journal cover too. And that really light color of green that it is would look good with pretty much anything. I mean, you could definitely go shabby chic with it. Shabby chic doesn't have to be pink. Y'all don't kill me for saying that, you know. Um, but Shabby Chic does not have to always be pink. Although that is my preferred color. And then I got two of these. So I'm just going to show you one. And again this is a pillow sham. Look at this here. It's the prettiest color of pink. Um, so yeah. So this will definitely be a journal cover. Okay, there is no tag, and I was looking to see. Okay, this is, that does not look machine stitched. That actually looks hand stitched. Yes, guys, to me that looks hand stitched. I don't know if you guys can see those stitches. Does not look like it's machine stitched. And it is quilted, so. Yep, that's going to be really fun. Really, really fun. Um, so, again, I got two of those. Okay, so see, this one has sequins in the middle. Okay. Cute. But yeah, we have two of those, so that'll make some good journal covers. Alright, so let's put this over here, because guys, <laughs> I'm not going to believe what I did. <sighs> I was going to sing y'all a song, but now I've decided not to, because it would be absolutely horrifying. And the song was going to be, oops, I did it again. I guess y'all can hear that bag opening. So, this was not there the last time I went, but let's see. Yep. All right, guys, are you ready? I got another wedding dress. I couldn't help myself. But this thing has the biggest and the thickest appliques and pearly white pearls I have ever seen. Look. Oh, you can't see it good. Oh my gosh, though. I cannot wait. To get into making something with this. There's an applique there. There. This thing is massive. It's like 
covering me over over here and all the way around the tr uh, train and all the way around the dress it has this look at how gorgeous oh no don't Sorry, say a word I'm having trouble connecting to the internet it looks like an issue with the router and oh echo goodness. device so try restarting them unplug both of them then plug the router back in Sorry, guys. wait 30 seconds once the router she is likes back to on talk connected out of nowhere. to the internet plug in the so echo that was device. the front and this is the back so we have all these beautiful buttons we can use as well that's where you tie the train up at it is pretty big okay so there's one of them right there it looks like I'm gonna go ahead and get that up there so that I can get it back on its hanger and find a place to hang it now I have my other one well you know I've, I think I've gotten a total of what three or four I don't really remember that goes there um yeah three or four that goes all the way down guys with the buttons yeah three or four and one i still have on um mannequin look at how pretty that is oh my gosh Yes, so one I still have on my mannequin because it's like my favorite one and I don't have the heart to cut it up. And to be honest with you, I think this one is just absolutely gorgeous. Uh, now, it doesn't have as much lace. It, it uh, in fact has no lace at all. But it doesn't have as much or as many, I can't even talk right now, appliques and stuff. I mean, look at those beads all the way around the collar and all the way around the sleeves I don't know how she could stand that up under her arm but whatever but these are the prettiest appliques I have owned sorry I guess I really don't have it up here good do I um so she may be on display as well <laughs> as much as I do want to use her see you have just that flower by itself so pretty I'm going to move you guys down some. But, um, yeah, so I don't know look how pretty that is. If she's one, I'll use right away. Um, I'm thinking about going on a hunt for another mannequin. Again, you guys know I'm collecting things for the sewing room that I hope to have, you know, at least going within the next couple of months. I mean, it's going to be a while. Um, you know, but because we got to get the stuff cleaned out of there, and then I'm thinking about painting it, and I'm looking for like second hand uh, furniture and stuff that I actually want to use chalk, white chalk paint and paint it, and then distress it. It's the kind of furniture I want in there, and I want to do my craft room pretty much the same way. Um, but I figured since the um, that room in there is straighten you guys up some y'all a little crooked um since the room in there will be kind of a clean slate once my son's able to get all of his belongings out of there uh it's going to be a clean slate so i thought i would just start for you know start in there so yeah i have started you know collecting some things here and there for in there and then once that's done and a lot of stuff's out of my actual craft room that i have now then I could start taking things in here because there's shelves and different things that I have that all I need to do is just repaint. Um, maybe give them some bling bling, of course, and some lace and pink and, you know, then get it settled back in here. But, yeah, so this is another one. So I will go on a hunt for, you guys hold on, for another mannequin because, again, she may be a display piece for the time being. It would be really nice to have which I may go ahead and do and have one in the um, craft room and one displayed in my sewing room. So that is it, guys. Are y'all still crooked? Let's see. Um, that is it for my 
I'm not sure what I did to this poor thing. For my hashtag Thrifty Thursday. And again, it is an open collaboration hosted by Joe. Um, oh my gosh. Hosted by Sherry over at Turquoise Streaming. I got Jovi on my mind today, guys. I'm not sure. I just got finished watching one of her videos. I think it was actually uh, her Friendship Friday, I believe. Hey, Jovi. <laughs> but yeah, it is hosted by Sherry over at Turquoise Streaming. Um, so yeah, you guys go on over there and check her out. Let's put that there. And thank you. It's so cute. All right, guys. Please hit that like button and leave me a super quick comment. It's a great way you can support my channel, and I would really appreciate it. I love you guys, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.